My friends, I had another very productive weekend. I'll tell you all about that, show you a few video clips, and we got a lot more, and we'll get to all of it right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Monday, May 1st. April has bit the dust and we're starting on May, so just another month out of our lives. First, we'll start off with a viewer gift, and I'm not exactly sure if he's telling me he wants to be anonymous. He says it's Anonymous Jack. So I guess I'm just going to leave it at that, and you'll just know that the guy's name is Jack, but uh, the rest of it you don't know. He sent me two beautiful hand paintings. This is supposed to be uh, Cash and me. And he sent one of these for Cash and one of them for me. And I really just want to say thank you, Jack. I really do appreciate it. Jack had sent another uh, painting like this a while back and I've got that hanging on the wall in the office. So we'll put this up there next to that. Thank you very much. Got another little delivery here that uh, came in over the weekend. This is supposed to be the uh, odorless CA glue and I'm gonna try that out here a little later. Oh, what the heck, let's just try it out right now. Let's just see, does it have any smell? I'm afraid to test it. <laughs> Not really, I'm amazed. It, it actually does what it says. Does it actually glue though, does it work? So we'll test how well it works a little later. Well, I got the Bobcat back together. I may have a little short video clip on that and if I do, you'll see that right now. But if I don't have a video clip, you didn't see it, did you? <laughs> anyway, uh, we did get the uh, parts put on the Bobcat. It needed some modification. The uh, new, uh, cheaper aftermarket parts did not fit up exactly right, and I had to make some modifications to make them work. But once I made those modifications, they seem to be perfectly fine, and everything seems to be really solid, and it works really well. I've been using the Bobcat all weekend. Very happy with that, and saved a lot of money versus paying the uh, three times price for the actual manufacturer parts. And especially on an old Bobcat like that, you just, you know, you hate to spend the really big bucks just to keep her going, you know. Anyway, that worked real well. I cleaned up my big mess back in the back where I'd cut all the cedar trees. I'll maybe show you a little short video clip on some of that right here. I'm here in the Bobcat and I just pulled that tree down. It was a leaner that uh, was one of the first ones I cut. And you can see how we got her down, and now we're going to saw her into saw logs. And then I hauled all those logs up to the house, and I'll show you a little short video clip on that right here. Well, here goes the last load. The power of hydraulics and electricity. Using that battery to power that pump to dump this load. And now I'll pull forward and get, get them on the ground. By my count, there are 28 logs here. I would say less than half will be actual lumber. Maybe nine or 10 of them will be actual lumber. The rest will be posts. But since I was cutting the tree down, I didn't want the rest of the small stuff to go to waste. So that's why I'm making posts out of it. And then I sawed up a bunch of posts and here's another little short video clip. Well, I couldn't be much happier with the way the sawmill performed today. I uh, put a dent in this over here. I cut up nine logs out of the 28 and all nine were posts. This one here is a gate post. It's five and three quarters by five and three quarters. The rest of these are about four and five eighths. So there's a total of nine posts there. You can see it's three deep. 
then I thought I'd just show you some of this thin wood that I've cut. This, just to give you some idea, this is only an eighth inch thick. You can see how flexible it is. It's very thin and very accurately cut. I'm very amazed at how accurate the saw is. I couldn't really be any happier. You'd have to spend a whole lot more money to get one that's any better than this one. And even the speed has improved greatly. It's uh, really not too bad for a one-man operation. The speed's just about all you want anyway because you're working yourself to death, you know. The only other thing that could be uh, help me with my speed is I need to put a brake on this to slow this and stop this quicker because I have to wait for that to spin down before I can pull it back, you know, because it, it could pull the blade off if you don't wait for it to spin down. So I may work up a, a brake system for that, but other than that, I really can't think of a, another improvement I need. I tell you what, I am so tickled with the way that sawmill is working now. You know, it it's just feels like a real sawmill now. So I've got a number of uh, enhancements um, I want to make to it now. Uh, these aren't really so much enhancements as they are uh, accessories. I'm going to make several accessories for it. I'm not going to tell you what those are and give that away, but uh, there's going to be a bunch of uh, additions to the sawmill coming up before very long, and you will see how those work in the future. And as promised, here's a couple of video clips of my brother playing our newly fixed up piano. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm really behind on my emails again, so I'm going to be working on getting caught up with some of that and doing some other computer work and some network work. Uh, I just have just swamped all the time. So I'm going to cut it off right there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's uh, video clips, and we will see you tomorrow. Yeah.